it's the structure that's going to make the difference in this one, folks. These superstars can act all nonchalant all they want, but when you see that structure and the door slams behind you, I don't care who you are, you shudder inside. No argument there, Corey. That's why there have been so few WWE superstars who have ever had the guts to step inside the structure for a Hell in a Cell match. The thing that makes this so much more insidious than a simple cage match is there's no escape. The door is padlocked, and the only way out is by pinfall or submission. Or by stretcher, maybe. There's always that. Able to capitalize on McIntyre's mistake. Suplexes, slams, and bombs are all painful, but being slapped like that is humiliating. You would know, Saxton. He got whipped into that corner. Knife edge chop echoing through the arena. A close line. This is the 14th edition of the Hell in a Cell premium live event. He's taking some good hits. He'll be lucky if this is the worst he suffers in the cell. He's got him scouted. Took advantage. showing they've done their homework. With an uppercut. Byron, is it possible to stay one step ahead of your opponent in a match as horrific as Hell in a Cell? Well, it could come down to the first superstar that can turn that switch and battle on pure instinct because a strategy could be lost and all you have left is the ability to fight. And that can happen quickly in an environment where cruelty is rewarded for having no bounds. And he goes into the ring. Wow, belly to belly. The cover. A kick out, and you can see the frustration starting to build. I can't believe the ref didn't get two here. Gets met with a response. Springboard! Oh, my! Oh, Dangerous spot for him to be in. Right hand connects. That's the prelude from up here. Are you kidding me? No, there's no way. No way you can do this. Drew is completely out of it. Shoulders down. Oh, kicks out, kicks out. I'm stunned, utterly stunned at the guts Drew McIntyre is showing us right now. That move has brought victory before, but not on this occasion. Might be time to think outside the box. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Ooh, right to the throat.
As we all know, Hell in a Cell matches tend to deteriorate once the competitors leave the confines of the ring. He had it scouted. with an uppercut. Uppercut! Man. McIntyre turns things around. Oh, what an uppercut. Coming back in the ring. Denied with an elbow. Hooked up. Great power. Inverted suplex. The countdown is on. McIntyre might have him. Is it enough? The cover. Two. He stays alive. He stays alive. He had to dig deep to break that pin. But can it be done again? How much is left after that? The Scottish warrior thought he had his opponent's number there, but he was sorely mistaken. McIntyre is looking to the crowd for some support. Oh, he grew tired of his smug attitude. After all we've seen, these men are... Oh, it's not going to be pretty! Go to sleep, GTS! Night, night. Huge turning point right here. Two. Gets the win, and he survives. Hell in a cell. Tonight, Drew McIntyre did not survive. Drew could not seize control of this match. This is not what McIntyre expected. And we don't know what kind of damage McIntyre suffered.